And here is the third floor. Took a little longer than I thought it was gonna take, but here it is. So looking at the front here, you see there's a, more like a clock tower. And in behind it is actually a gear mechanism there that you can set the clock to the time you want it to be. So right now it's like about three o'clock. And if we turn it a little bit, I think, if I can get it to turn. Well, there we go. It's turning. <laughs> so now we made it. Let's make it about quarter to noon. Anyhow, um, like this entire set has been going lots of small pieces. Uh, definitely feeling the 4,004 pieces in my old man fingers. Ugh. I don't know if I'm getting arthritis or what. I mean, not that old, but still. Hands get cramped after a while. Especially with these pieces here, as I talked about early in this video. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a fun-filled, adventurous set. So this is the, it's supposed to be the ceramic art room. You can see here. Uh, so these are your spinning tables for doing ceramics. I think that's what they're called, spinning tables. And then you got uh, some materials, you know, to work with. And then um, stools and looks like, you know, your colorings and paints and things like that. Um, you know, I'm not sure where it goes right here. I think it might be something that goes there. Maybe I missed it. I'll have to go look in the book again. But anyway, here is this third floor on the back side there. It's supposed to be a ladder to the roof. Um, overall, I mean, it really wasn't any problem putting it together. Well, I'll take that back. The one problem that I think is uh, dealing with is this. This whole section here, these windows, it's like, I don't want to pull it out because it's kind of a pain to get it back in. But basically, it's held in place with one stud down here on this stuff. Uh, a two by two square but it has a single stud on top and then on the back it's held by you can see these little brown things here with a little looks like a little wrench things so basically you have a stud here and a stud here that sets this sets down on top of that so you got three attachment points but i'm sure once the roof gets on there this will all be held in much better but when it comes to putting it together uh this kept wanting to pop out. Now, especially when I was putting these, the window frames in, this fell out like twice. And, you know, you have to, when you build it, it goes in between all these little round barrel ones here. There's like two columns over here, one behind and one in front on both sides. So this kind of slides down in between there. But when it popped out, I was like, oh no. And then, cause I thought maybe, you know, I wasn't gonna be able to get back in, but Kind of just slides in and out in a in a you know in and out in a vertical position here up and down to get it back in there but yeah it's very temperamental just right here but the rest of it i mean pretty simple not bad i mean i really like the set i really do um okay let me get going on the the rough which is the last Bags nine and 10, and we got a little red mail truck to go. So get that going, and then I'll come back and just record a little bit of that. And then that'd be it for this entire set. And here we go. The rough is put together. What's that old classic song? The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. I think it's something like that. <laughs> uh, okay, I must be slap happy. Hmm, I think so. It's about in the wee hours. How's that? Anywho, 
here is the the top of the roof and over here is with the third floor is now attached and pretty much completed now it's just a matter of taking this roof here and putting it on which I'm going to attempt faith and see if I can put it on here with one hand and recording with the other. As long as I don't hit the buttons. All right, it's gotten pretty heavy now, you know, to move it around. You know, I've talked about in other videos about not doing mills plates and I know people have pointed out as to why they do it. But here's one good example. All right, I got too much clutter. I'm the clutter king. Any hoots. Um, this is one of the reasons why I think people tend to do mills plates. If you see that curling there, that base plate. So if you had mills plates there, you wouldn't have that happening. But... If you're putting this in the Lego City where you have the road plates next to this and you use your uh, tiles here to attach it to the road plates, this would not be up like that. It would stay down, at least in theory. So, okay, we have the roof. And let's spin it around this way. I gotta say, as far as putting the roof together, uh, wasn't too bad. Probably the most difficult part. You know, um, the most difficult part was probably the dome here. Well, the top of the dome, these sections right here, you got four blue and four of these turquoise greens. And you just gotta get them lined up underneath for this, this cap section right here. But beyond that, I think the, the actual the angles here at the top of the roof, where these go together, um, basically you got like the, what do you call that? The boxed hinge deal where you put two pieces together and it gives you like a hinge. Let me see if I can pull it up in the book. Uh, yeah, here we go. If you can see these right here, Let's see if I can focus on that. I guess it's going to get. A get. Anyway, you have three of these on here, and um, there we go. You got three of those on these bigger sides here. Actually, I think you got three on both sides. In hoots, what you do is. You put this entire panel together, this roof panel, and those black, I'm just gonna call them box hinges. You attach them on here to the panel, and then you're trying to put the panel and the bottom of the roof hinges down onto the onto the plate and trying to line up with the studs that are put underneath here. Let me see if I can lift this up. Where I can we can see them. Look up underneath of there, those black. And uh, let me get the light a little bit over here. Okay. So you can see those black box hinges up underneath of there. And let's see if we can get that one. So what you're supposed to do is take this top panel and set it down on the studs and try to push it down while having this angled. You can probably see them better here, down in there. So, point is, you're supposed to push this down while trying to line those up, by trying to force them down onto the studs, and with the clutch power of this being really tight, it was really hard to do. So what I wind up doing was, took those box hinges off, attached them to the, to the, 
to that bottom plate where they go, you know, the bottom portion of the hinge box. So let me go back over here. This part here, I had went ahead and attached that to the uh, to the plate. And then this one here attached it up where it goes. So basically when I put the whole section down, I was snapping these two here together as this was going on. And it, they snapped right in there. Definitely a, a firm click, click, click. And it was on there, which was a whole heck of a lot easier than trying to put this on there where it was all together and then get them on them studs. It just wasn't working. I fought with it for one of them and I was like, okay, I gotta try something different. So I did that, and then on the second one, it just uh, clicked right in there for all three of them. Okay, anyway, so here it goes, just the back side here. Let's see if I can lift this up and put it on there. Because I think it's supposed to, it's going to line up up underneath this, uh, I think that's supposed to be like the, like a light uh, chandelier. I'm going to try it. And if it doesn't, if I can't do it, then I'm going to put the phone down and stop and then come back to it. Let me see. Ugh. This is too... Let me switch hands here. Okay. Uh, a little bit more than I care to do with something like this. Yeah, I'm not going to get this one handed. Okay, let me just pause this right quick, and then I'll come back. And here it is, everyone, with the roof on the post office. Whew. You know, it's pretty funny when I was before I put it on to now. This seems like an instant. Believe me, I just spent the last 20 minutes just trying to line this roof up to fit on this front section. Not a complaint, it's just, that's how tight it goes on. Not a lot of variance in there and spacing to allow it to fit in there really nice and tight, especially right up in here. Cause the roof, this portion of it sets up on top of the square here. So it has to set up on top of there and goes in behind this section here, which this portion right here where the clock is, I think this is the weakest link down here. Um, it only sets on one stud, this entire window structure there. So when you're trying to put this on top, this here is moving, because I mentioned earlier in the video um, that you have these two little brown, uh, like little handle things you clip into, and then the one stud. So that's all holds this section right here down to here and then you come in you put this on top so this is flexing we went around when you're trying to set this down and then you're trying to line up the studs on the on the uh back sides of the roof but it's together um for the most part now only thing left to do is Put the postal truck, the mail truck together, and that will do it for this. <sighs> Knife Liz um, set, post office set, 4,004 pieces. Definitely a fun set though. I'm not complaining. It was, it was fun to do. And uh, hope you all enjoyed the uh, you know, going along with me as we did this. So once I get the the um, mail truck done, then it's gonna go in the Lego City somewhere. Amongst all these other modulars that are still set there waiting to go in sometime, somewhere. Don't know where. Okay, so I guess the next question is what am I gonna do for next Lego building? I can either continue on with Lego City or do a Star Wars set, or maybe do the other the other uh, uh, orange high speed train. Mm, I'm not sure yet. Maybe if you'd like, 
put down in the comments what do you think I should do? Star Wars? Lego City Modular? Or Train? Or what else could I do? Hmm. Ooh, could do the Haunted House for the amusement park or Daily Bugle. Got two of those gonna do, which will take forever. But, so there's the choices. Uh, Haunted House, Daily Bugle, train sets, another modular building, um, or stores. What do you think? Put it in the comments below. Also, as always, if you wouldn't mind subscribing. If you like the videos, that's great. If you don't, that's okay too. Uh, just let me know what we can do better to make them funner or more exciting or longer. <laughs> All right. So we'll see you next time uh, on uh, what we decide to build next. All right. Thanks for joining us.